My name is Dr. Grant Wheeler. I'm a senior lecturer here at the School of Biological Sciences at the University of East Anglia. I am interested in developmental biology. So this is how you go from uh, a single fertilized egg through to a multicellular organism like ourselves. The model system that we use to study this process is the tadpole. So we use um, a frog called the African claw toad frog or uh, its um, Latin name is Xenopus levis. And we use this because um, we can easily obtain eggs from this frog at any time during the year. We can then fertilize them in a petri dish very easily, and then we can watch them develop over a few days. If you've ever looked at frog spawn in a pond, you know how big the, the eggs appear and how big the tadpoles are. So we can kind of watch this process of the development of the tadpole quite easily using very simple microscopes in the Petri dish. In my lab, um, we've been interested in a particular cell type called the neural crest. The neural crest are very interesting. They um, are an embryonic cell type which give rise to many different tissues in our bodies, such as our, um, our facial muscle and cartilage, our parts of our peripheral nervous system, and also to the pigment cells in our skin. So the pigment cells in our skin are called melanocytes. Uh, and these derive from the neural crest cells. Pigment cells in a tadpole are very easy to see. You can see that clearly on this screen um, here, which is a, um, a Xenopus tadpole, and you can clearly see the black cells here are the pigment cells. So we can look at these very easily down the microscope. So what we've been doing is looking for small molecules or compounds, drug-like molecules, which will affect the development of the pigment cells in the embryo. And we carried out what's called a chemical genetic screen, where we screened 3,000 different compounds, and we identified around about 40 which affected the development of the tadpoles. And one of these in particular, we've now gone on to show will inhibit the growth of neural crest cells and inhibit the development of the pigment cells in the embryo. It will also inhibit the growth of melanoma cells, cancer, um, cancerous pigment cells in a Petri dish, and also the growth of melanomas in a mouse model system. So this compound that we've identified with um, our collaborators at Harvard Medical School um, is called lufunamide, and it's actually already used as a drug to help treat rheumatoid arthritis. So it's undergone many of the toxicity um, tests that new compounds, new drugs have to undergo uh, and is now in the process of um, starting to be used in clinical trials over in Boston um, to see if it will help treat melanoma.